beautiful morning it is. Oh, oh look, it's an idiot. Oh. oh, that's no idiot. What? That's the Doppler effect. Well, you know, it's getting kind of boring out here, so let's go back inside. Yeah, let's go watch some TV. So, have you ever thought about choking on a bottle? You know, I'm not sh so sure how safe that is. So, yeah, so choking on a bottle, it's pretty, pretty efficient. Nice <laughs> bro. If you want to pass me, you're going to have to answer some questions. Question one, who was the Doppler effect named after? The Austrian physicist named Christian Doppler. <laughs> that was for you, Daddy Newton. You make me proud, son. Keep it up. No problem, Daddy. Ugh! You may have gotten this question right, but can you handle this? Question two. Does the Doppler effect take place so when the object making noise is stationary? Yes! Wait, wait, no, 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 Question two. Does the Doppler effect take place so when the object making noise is stationary? Don't mess this up, Renee. I won't. You have ten seconds left. The Doppler effect only occurs when an object is moving closer to or further away from the observer. <sighs> I have one last question. Question three. Why can stars change colors depending on their frequency? It's because of redshift. <laughs> Because we can. You might have defeat me, but you'll never defeat him. Ugh. Finally, let's go watch some TV. Yeah, you know. wanted to buy some flickering light bulbs? It's the apparent change in the frequency of a wave caused by relative motion between the source of the wave and the observer. Have you ever wanted to learn about the Doppler effect? Well, come to my sessions. Only $79.99 per person. Yo, this guy looks kind of stupid. What you say about me? <gasps> yeah, you need my Doppler effect sessions because you see, you didn't even go into enough detail about Rajasthan. Go read a book. book.